Hey folks, and welcome to Car Stars' 10 Wild Facts about McKay's Kenworth K123 in the 1978 TV series, BJ and the Bear. Fact number one. There were reportedly three different K100 series trucks used throughout the three season run of the show, most being specifically the K123 model. For the first couple of seasons, there was a 74 Kenworth K100C flat top used as the hero truck for the close-up scenes. There was also another truck, a 76 Kenworth K123 used as the stunt truck for the more damaging scenes. Towards the end of the series, there was one more Kenworth K123 to grace the show, which was a 1980 model that was used as the hero truck throughout the last season of the series. Fact number two. The K100 Kenworth model was introduced in 1961 and was the company's long haul cab over engine or COE type commercial truck. It was released simultaneously along with the W900, but in 2002 production was discontinued, within North America anyways. As for the variants of the different K100 models over the years, the original K100 began production from 1961 through 1967, the K100C from 1968 to 1983, and the K100E from 1984 to 2002. Each new version had slightly upgraded features from previous. The trucks had a wide range of engine options over the years, including multiple offerings from Caterpillar, Cummins, and Detroit Diesel, making them a versatile favorite rig among truckers of their day. With the changing US laws to length restrictions on commercial trucks, demand for cab over engine style configuration trucks ceased in North America. The K100 is still manufactured today, but primarily used in other countries such as Australia. Fact number three. After being off the radar for some time, one of the original BJ McKay Kenworth trucks, the 1980 model, was discovered in 2007 by one Mike Johnson and it was in quite a sad state of affairs. As you can see, the truck had been sitting here for a very long time and had begun being consumed by nature as well as had many parts pillaged from it over the years, so much so that it was essentially an empty shell at that point. Fortunately, however, the truck was acquired by superfan Paul Sagehorn and his son Craig, who commissioned a tedious complete restoration of the truck, along with the help of longtime trucker and also a big fan of the show, who also has hosted his own trucking shows, Rob Mariani, We'll get into some more details about that a bit later on. Fact number four. After its restoration, Paul and Craig actually began using it as a regular service truck hauling a reefer trailer across 48 US states for a time. Of course, the truck gets quite a bit more love and attention as well as is kept up better than most trucks ever will be lucky enough to be. Today though, this special truck is mostly retired, spending its days as a showpiece, being taken to various shows and exhibition events across the states. It's great to see that at least one of the trucks survived, not only being used on the TV show, but also the long haul of the now 43 years later. Of course, it did have to be resurrected first, so it's amazing that it even still exists at all. Fact number five. The now 70 year old, but sure doesn't look it, Greg Evigan, the actor who played BJ McKay is still active in the trucking community today and occasionally attends truck shows and other related events, sometimes even alongside the last remaining original truck from the show, which is pretty awesome. Even cooler yet, Greg has been a spokesperson for the Kenworth Trucks Company in supporting the Truckers Against Trafficking organization. And if you're not familiar with that group, Truckers Against Trafficking is a great nonprofit organization that trains truck drivers to recognize and report instances of human trafficking they may witness in their travels across the country. This national organization formed in Oklahoma back in 2009 and teaches truck drivers about the consequences of human trafficking inflicted upon its victims. Fact number six. The lone surviving screen used 1980 K123 was featured on the short-lived 2011 TV show called American Trucker. I apologize that I don't have footage of that specific episode, which was the pilot episode of the show. But that is because that for some odd reason all of the several different streaming services that once had the show available to watch before no longer do now despite it still being listed on their platforms in the status of no longer available for streaming i spent a good hour or more searching the web for it elsewhere and only found a single episode of the show that you are seeing on screen now from youtube which is episode 12 from season one the show also doesn't seem to be available anywhere on any physical disc format either, strangely. 
Anyways, I will read you a synopsis of that pilot episode that did feature the one only surviving authentic BJ McKay truck, so we'll know a little bit about it at least. In the pilot episode of the 2011 TV show American Trucker, host Rob Mariani embarks on a mission to help restore the iconic 1980 Kenworth K123 Aerodyne from the classic series BJ and the Bear. Rob's passion for trucks leads him to assist in the meticulous revival of this legendary rig. Along the way, viewers explore the world's largest truck stop, meet UPS driver Ron Big Dog Souter, and witness true mechanical prowess. The episode weaves nostalgia, mechanical dedication, and encounters with trucking legends into a captivating ride for truck enthusiasts and curious viewers alike. And that's about all I know about that episode featuring the BJ McKay truck, unfortunately. If anyone watching knows where this series is currently available to watch or buy, please let us know in the comments below. Fact number seven. As you might imagine, due to the show's massive popularity and because of the truck's mostly stock appearance, there have been a number of trucker fans that have done up their K123s as BJ and the Bear replicas. Although the era of these models of trucks has long since passed, the nostalgia and fandom still continue, and it's safe to say that a good chunk of the remaining K100 series Kenworth trucks out there have probably borrowed that simple, yet unmistakable, bright color scheme. One fine example of such is this great looking 1992 model K100 owned by the Keffer family. Just look at that beauty shine in all of its gleaming red and white glory. Fact number eight. And if a real truck replica is out of your obtainability, like most of us, but you still want the experience of driving McKay's rig, one option would be to drive a likeness of it in a truck driving simulator game. One such title that you could replicate the truck pretty closely in is the very well-known 2016 release game just called American Truck Simulator. Despite being nearly an eight-year-old simulator now, this title's popularity is still going strong today with a large community behind it, and the game's creators still releasing new content for it to this day as well. As you can see here, this dedicated fan of the show customized a K100 in the game to look as close to the BJ and the Bear truck as possible within the simulator, and it looks quite good if you ask me. Yep, this truck looks just as great on the open road in a simulator as it does in the TV show. This is certainly a much cheaper alternative to be able to drive a likeness of McKay's truck at least, that's for sure. Fact number nine. So, what happened to the other two Kenworth trucks, the 74 and the 76 that were used early on in the show, you ask? Well, the Hero 74 truck was sold off to a trucker to be used as a fleet vehicle, and the trail pretty much goes cold after that, so its whereabouts are currently unknown. The 76 stunt truck was also sold to a private buyer who had intentions of restoring it. However, unfortunately, the truck was deemed to be too heavily damaged for that to be feasible, so it was then salvaged and no longer exists today. Fact number 10. As for scale models of McKay's Kenworth, fortunately since the show was such a hit, there was quite a bit of official merchandise released. Among those official products released was this model kit from AMT, however that kit is very difficult to find today and silly expensive when you do. There were actually a number of different official plastic toy truck releases as well, but unfortunately have the same rarity and high cost levels as the model kit. So, for you skilled model builders, your best bet to build one is going custom starting with this hideout transporter type K100 as a base, since it's really the only K100 kit that's on the current retail market. These run about $50 currently, and as you can see from this person's custom build based on this same model, some excellent results can be had with the right set of talents. If diecast is your preference instead, the vintage official releases are also rare and high cost. But fortunately, there are some modern age diecast models that are easier to come by and are of higher detail than their vintage counterparts as well. Probably the best option would be obtaining this excellent 164 scale K100 model from DCP. Although not a direct replica, the paint scheme and base model is very close. These run for about $125 on the current retail market. However, if you have around two and a half times that cost to burn, there is a guy on eBay that makes direct replicas of the BJ and the Bear truck based on these DCP models, and they look even better. There was also a decent Hot Wheels release replica of the truck as well, except they called it Thunder Roller. These are no longer on the retail market, but you can find them on eBay for around $80 typically. And for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I have recently created my own diecast car channel named Show and Tell Diecasts, that I display and detail my diecast models that I now add videos to weekly also. 
I will include a link to the new channel in the video description below as well for those interested. Well, there you have it folks. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. You guys are all great. See you next time.